what's up everyone, Simeon Karofsky back with another video. And um, first of all, I just wanna start out by, like, by saying, if you have any questions or um, any ideas for future videos, just go ahead and comment them down below in the comment section on this video. Or you can hit me up on Instagram or Snapchat at Simeon underscore Karofsky. I'll also put that link in the description and um, you can follow me on there and just hit me up, ask any fitness related uh, stuff or just give me ideas for future videos if you want. Um, but today, this is a common um, request people have been giving me, and that is going to be the topic of do you get any free time in boot camp, and when do you necessarily get that free time, and for how long? So I'll just be covering that during boot camp because I was also curious about this when I joined, and um, I couldn't really find that much information on it. So I want to just hand that out to y'all, and I just want to make sure. Um, that can give you as much information as uh, possible that you'll need or that you're curious about before you join the Marine Corps. And um, I just want to let y'all know that this, these videos are not a representation of the Marine Corps. It's not their opinions. This is just based on my experiences that I've had in the Marine Corps in my earlier stages of my career. So um, if y'all join the Marine Corps, y'all might um, experience different things than me whether you have boot camp on the east coast i was on the west coast so things could be different um your experiences will vary they're not always going to be the exact same because it depends on platoon uh, company um and location so so yeah let's just hop right into the video and um we'll talk about it okay so when you start off at marine corps boot camp um you're not going to have and pretty much any free time for about the first two weeks, I'd say. Um, I'm not 100% sure that's accurate, um, but when I was going through it, I know the very first week, um, you're busy getting a lot of, uh, you're getting all your uniforms. Um, you're, yeah, you're getting all your measurements for your uniforms. Um, it's just really busy, hectic. You're going through all the medical, you're getting tons of different shots. Um, so you don't really have time at night um, for to have any free time to like organize your stuff. And then once Black Friday hits, when you actually meet your drill instructors, um, it's just complete chaos and hectic at that time that you're not gonna get any free time at night. Um, but eventually, once you hit about two weeks in, um, they're gonna have what's called senior drill instructor square away time. And this is supposed to be right before you go to bed. Um, you're supposed to normally get an hour. Um, that's how it was for us, is usually you get about an hour of free time um, to be able to write letters, um, work on uniforms, or anything you need to catch up throughout the day. So it's technically free time, but not necessarily, you, not necessarily all the time it's free time. A lot of times you'll have to like actually work on stuff for the next day that you didn't get done or that they want you to get done. So like they might have a task for you, like make sure you have this uniform prepped, um, make sure you don't have, uh, that it's looking clean, make sure you, uh, iron your cover, which it's the hats we use in the Marine Corps, they're called covers. Make sure you iron it, make it look tight. And there's just certain tasks that you might have to get ready for the next day. So that might take up a little bit of your time during senior drill instructor square away time. Um, once you get this right before you go to bed, um, most time your SDI, your senior drill instructor will sit y'all down. It will be like kind of the only like calm moment of the day after going through a hectic fast paced day and he'll like talk about something. Um, he might have like a story or something that he wants to talk about, like um, an experience he had in the Marine Corps and stuff like that and discuss it with you um, for a short amount of time. And as he's doing that, at least with us, he was handing out the mail um, that we received. Um, so if you received any mail from your family, um, they would hand out all the mail and you would be able to read, read your mail during senior drill instructor square away time and not any other time. So that would happen and you'd also get these snack packs i talked about this in the previous previous video um you get snack packs um which is like we'll have like peanut butter cheerios um any other just like maybe trail mix some sort of type of snack that you can have and you're only allowed to eat it during senior drill instructor square away time or another authorized time they tell you so there's that and they'll kick it right into the right into your free time usually about 45 minutes, I'd say, sometimes an hour if you're lucky. And um, 
you're able to actually just have time to write your letters and just kind of calm down from the from the stress you've had throughout that day and be able to catch up on anything you need because during a normal day at boot camp and um if you lose something you can't find something in your uh, footlocker a lot of times you don't have the time to actually look for it and find it because you're going at such a fast pace and during that time is uh, to get everything fixed, maybe organize your footlocker, make sure all your items are good, all your uniforms are prepped, and um, you take advantage of that time to actually fix everything and catch up. But a lot of people would use that time to sometimes work out um, if they wanted to, uh, get an extra PT session in, um, work on their crunches and stuff to get ready for their physical fitness test, or they would um, most commonly just be writing letters. So that's the that's mostly all the free time you're gonna get in boot camp. Also on Sundays, you get a lot more free time. Um, when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna go, you're gonna go to chow, you're gonna eat, and then you're gonna go to church for a couple of hours. And then when you come back, you normally have like about an hour of free time until you kick off whatever you're gonna do for the rest of the day. And that's usually when you get the most free time is on Sundays because you get time to relax go to church if you want to. And um, with us, we they actually did it. They told us, a lot of people had told me that um, they're gonna make you do things and uh, like make you work, do tasks and just mess with you um, if you don't go to church in the morning. But a lot of people actually did stay home from church and didn't get messed with, at least in the later stages of boot camp. And, um, but I heard like on the East Coast, a lot of times, um, if you don't go to church, you actually do get messed with a lot. And, um, but for the most part, um, if you don't go to church, you actually get a lot of free time. It just depends on your company, your platoon. Um, but I always went, took advantage of that and also always went to church and um, every single Sunday. So yeah, there's that free time, senior drill instructor square away time. And then, um, that's mostly all the free time you get. Um, besides just being on standby, um, you're just gonna be on, on standby a lot in boot camp, just waiting to do something, waiting on getting uniforms, um, waiting, waiting in class, stuff like that. There's gonna be a lot of waiting sometimes. Um, but other than that, uh, that's mostly all the free time you're gonna get in boot camp. Um, later, in the later stages of boot camp, when you get more of like the combat related stuff before the crucible, which on the West Coast, we go to Camp Pendleton. Um, it becomes more like the squad leaders and the guide actually control and try to keep uh, everything in check. They give us like more responsibility and normally you get more time to shower and do stuff everything gets faster paced like they expect you to finish things faster in the later stages of boot camp and get a uh, task accomplished way faster um but for the most part you actually get a little bit more time to shower and a little bit more free time towards the end of the day and you don't normally get treated like an actual adult because that's never going to happen in boot camp um but you actually get to kind of control your fate just a little bit more, I'd say. So yeah, that's mostly all the free time in boot camp. You're gonna have senior Joel instructor square away time. Sundays you get most of your free time. And during the later stages of boot camp, they just give you a little bit more shower time. But during boot camp, expect to all your privacy to be taken away. You're not gonna have any privacy. Um, you're just gonna have to get used to that. It's really not that bad once you once you get there. A lot of people ask me like. What's it like going, uh, using the restroom and people are watching you? Was it, what's it like taking showers and there's tons of people around you and they're like super nervous about it. But once you get there, you're gonna be going so fast paced that you're not gonna care at all. And you're not gonna really focus on that. So don't panic, don't worry about it. Um, it's gonna suck, but it's only temporary. That's just how boot camp is. You have to have that mindset that you just gotta get it over with. It's only temporary and just try to do it to the best of your ability. And, um, just perform to your best ability and that's about it. That's all you can do. Um, everyone's gonna get messed up with and messed with in boot camp and if you're if you're being stupid and uh, easily noticed by the instructors, the drill instructors, then yeah, you're gonna get messed with more. But yeah, just um, 
Hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, if, as I said, if you all have any questions, just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram at Simeon underscore Karofsky or on Snapchat. And let me know what other videos you all want to see. So, yeah, I'll see you all next time.